Let's go over these four methods of payment that are most commonly used every single day. Now, the first three, cash, check, and debit, these, these three all have something very important in common. The thing that they all three have in common is that they all represent your money. That's right, it's yours. Well, what wouldn't be yours? The one thing that is not your money when you use it to buy things is the credit card. That is not your money. That is someone else's. That is the bank's money. And usually when you pay that back to that person, I mean, you have to pay it back. But when you do pay it back, you, only, you have to pay more than what you actually borrowed to begin with. Now, let's talk about these, these first three, cash, check, and debit. Well, checks and debit cards, they all use cash, but it's cash that is in your bank. So you have cash, sometimes you carry it with you, but sometimes you don't like carrying all that cash around, so you put it in a bank. Well, the check and the debit let you pay with the cash that you have in your bank. It's still yours. When you pay with cash, it's always instant, and you always have to pay in person. Same thing with the check. It's always instant, and it, you always pay in person. Now, what does that mean in person? Well, with the debit card, you, it's instant also, but it is also, and it lets you do it in person, but it also lets you do it electronically. So you could use it to buy things on the internet or over the phone. These two you cannot pay with over the internet or on the phone. Like, yeah, whenever you're paying with a cash or a check, it always has to be used in person. And see how this lady, she's paying in person, and this lady is also uh, and she's paying, she could be paying on the phone or she could be paying on the computer. But what the cards, the debit and credit card allow you to do are allow you to make instant payments that are electronic or in person.